expanding brackets. In algebra, as you know, we don't use time signs. So if I wanted to do 6 times the result of x plus 3, I wouldn't write that time sign. I would write 6 and then just the brackets, x minus 3. And you'll see questions that look like this quite a lot. You won't usually see a time sign because we don't write it. But this problem here, 6 times x minus 3, has an invisible time sign and it means six times everything in the brackets. And we'll write that in. That means six times everything in the brackets. Sorry, my writing went very messy there. Now, usually in algebra, the skill that we need is to expand brackets. And when they ask me to expand an expression, it means to take the brackets out. And because this means six times everything in the brackets, the only way to take the brackets out is to do the multiplication of six times, in this case, six times everything in the brackets. So expand means take the brackets out by multiplying. And the word expand gives us two clues. This is how we help to remember x. If something is x, it's gone away, it's stopped, it's been removed, so we take the brackets out, x brackets. And by multiplying, there's an x in expand, and multiplying has the sign that looks like an x. So I know it's a really silly way of remembering it, but expand means take the brackets out by multiplying. And so what we need to do is we multiply the term outside the brackets by every term in the brackets. Sorry about making that really squashed. I don't know why I did that. Now this is called expanding. Expand means take the brackets out by multiplying the term outside the brackets by every term inside the brackets. And that means the multiplication has always already happened, so we don't need the brackets anymore. And it's our big and most important skill right now. Get this one happening. Let's look at how we do it. Let's keep our steps there expand the following expressions and we read this as 3 outside of x plus 2 and this means 3 times everything here 3 times x plus 3 times 2 now I'm going to write my first line of working in green because I don't actually need you to show this working if you want you can go straight to the answer we need to multiply the term outside the brackets by every term in the brackets. So the first one we're going to do, and I'm going to draw a little arrow with an x for with time sign. I'm going to do 3 times x. And I'm going to write that down. But I know you're smart enough to do 3 times x. So this line that I'm doing now, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. Then we're going to put down this plus sign that's sitting here and we're going to do 3 times 2. Now both of these are sums that we can do and we have to do the times. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6, and that's plus 6. 
this is as far as we can go. We can't do 3x plus 6 because these are not like terms. If it was 3x plus 6x, we could, but it's not. That's as far as it goes. We've expanded it. But I don't need you to show this working if you don't want to. If you want to, absolutely you can. You can go straight to here because we're smart enough to do 3 times x and 3 times 2. All we've got to pay attention to is our negative signs and making sure we do both multiplications. So the best way that I find to do it is draw the arrows for where you're going to times. You're going to do the term outside the bracket times the first term in the bracket. 2 times a is 2a. Then you're going to do the term outside the bracket times the second term in the bracket. And you'll notice I'm including that negative because you're going to do 2 times negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Check it on your calculator if you need to. 2 times negative 3, negative 6. So I write 2a minus 6. And that's the answer. That's expanded. You've removed the brackets by multiplying. It's all we needed to do. Let's practice on these next ones. Term outside the brackets times the first term. m times 4 is 4m. Be careful. Remember, the letter comes, the letter comes after the number that it's multiplied by. m times negative m. Positive times a negative is negative. m times m is m squared. We can't subtract these because they're not like terms. m squared is not the same as m and we're in subtraction now. That's as far as it goes. That's your answer. You've expanded. Negative 2. Multiply it by the first term in the brackets. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Multiply it by the second term. Negative 2 times positive 7. Use your calculator if you need to check it. Negative 2 times 7. Negative 14. So we write minus 14. Check negative 2 times x, negative 2x. Negative 2 times 7, negative 14. So my answer is negative 2x minus 14. That's as far as it can go. 4x outside of x take away 1. 4x times x, draw your little arrow. We're going to multiply. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times negative 1. Positive times a negative is negative. 4 times 1 is 4x. Remember, x squared and x are different. We can't take that any further. So look at how we do it. When it says expand the expressions, it means take the brackets out by multiplying. We've got to multiply the term outside the brackets by both terms inside the brackets. And we've got to get our expanded answer without brackets because we did the multiplication that the brackets were talking about. We don't need them anymore. This example here looks a little bit scary, just minus outside of this. But remember, when you see a negative on its own, there's an invisible 1. So this is negative 1 times x which is negative 1x, or we could write negative x. Sorry, wrong color. Negative 1 times negative 1. Negative times a negative is positive. 1 times 1 is 1. And if we wanted to get rid of that 1 there, we could. Negative x plus 1. So if you see just a negative out the front of the brackets, you know you've got to put in that 1. Now, a little bit of extension here. Sometimes they'll ask you to expand and simplify. Just like bod mass, when it's brackets first, you can expand brackets first as well. So here, 
expand the brackets first 3 times x is 3x 3 times 2 positive 6 and then there's also this minus x hanging around you've done the expand now you can simplify 3x take away x is 2x and this plus 6 just stays there so that is expanding brackets